My name is Dina Moskowitz. I'm an assistant professor of clinical urology here at UC Irvine, and I specialize in female pelvic medicine and reconstructive surgery. Neuromodulation is a treatment for overactive bladder, um, and it's usually used and reserved for patients who don't do well on medications or don't get enough symptom relief. Um, it's implanted in two stages. So the first stage is a test stage. Um, we put a small wire into the low, low back into the, next to the nerves of the sacrum, which are the nerves that control both the bowel and bladder. So this treatment can be used for overactive bladder, but also can be used for underactive bladder as well as bowel incontinence. Um, so once the wire is in, the patient takes it basically for a little test drive. They wear it with an implant or a external device that is situated on a belt and stimulates the nerve. And that trial period lasts for about two weeks. And then after those two weeks, about 90% of patients will find really significant relief of their bowel or bladder symptoms and they'll elect to go on to getting a full implant. So the implants now, this is a newer technology, they come in two, uh, two different devices. So the most common device, um, looks like this and it's about the size of an Oreo cookie and this device gets implanted underneath the skin near the back above the buttock um, and it lasts for about five years and they're actually now MRI compatible where they didn't used to be. Uh, but even more exciting is that they've now made the device even smaller so you can see the size difference there and this one is actually rechargeable so it should last for at least 15 years and the patient just has to put a little belt on every um, other week to charge it up for about 20 to 30 minutes.